What is going on you guys? What's up? What's good? Welcome back to my channel for another fitness video. I'm so incredibly excited to put up this video today. I feel like I have so much just genuine excitement going on. I woke up in the best mood. Today is gonna be episode one of the new fitness and health and weight loss and little cut series that I'm doing here on my channel. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been on a weight loss journey for a really long time. So to have a new like set period where I'm setting goals and I can like renew my motivation, I have some new recipes, some new workouts. I've got a whole entire new plan basically of what I'm doing for the next 12 weeks here leading into summer. And I'm just super excited about it. Fitness has been such a passion for me lately and something I've really come to love. I absolutely love working out. If you guys have followed my channel for so long, I used to not be like the biggest cooker and I would do like really repetitive meal preps. Now I'm actually super into cooking, learning new recipes, the whole, the whole like realm of the healthy living journey in the way that I've approached it the past year has been so much healthier for me mentally and I'm really like in love with the process which is what I genuinely want to resonate off to you guys because I know so many of you follow me for like the weight loss and the health and fitness. So if you've been a subscriber for a bit, you know that the past few months I was doing a cut. Um, I would say I gave about you know, about like 90% effort. Um, I did lose a little over 10 pounds, which I know is already such a great accomplishment. And I truly took the time to be really proud of myself and assess everything that I did and what worked and what didn't work the past few months. Um, but I am actually doing another cut, a little like cut 2.0 for the next 12 weeks. So in this video, I wanted to go over with you guys my like starting physique and my weight as of today. I'll go over my exact macros, literally every single thing that I'm doing for this cut and what you can expect on my YouTube channel. I am super, super excited for this new little series because I've hired a videographer. I have some amazing, incredible, like cinematic type of like workout clips coming your way. I'm really trying to give you guys the absolute best quality possible. So yeah, finally invested in a videographer and I'm incredibly excited about it. I want you guys to know just like full transparency. I, it's not that I could care less, but I don't mind filming myself in the gym, but I know that's not the most fun for you guys to watch. And I really want my videos to be literally like movie quality and have like really awesome edits and stuff like that. I know some of you really like like the raw clips that I can do on my own but I think having help will be really really nice and again just like full honesty here any money that I make like through YouTube on AdSense for this series or anything I'm investing right back into my channel to pay Brian to continue filming and editing for me. So the number one thing you guys can do if you want to support me on this series pretty please if you come through and watch a video and you don't have time to comment it's totally fine if you could just give me a thumbs up I would appreciate that so so much. I am being putting 100% effort into this series here for the next 12 weeks. I will still have some girl boss videos up and stuff like that, but the majority of it is gonna be based on workouts, full days of eating, little physique updates. Today I actually have a little Gymshark haul for you guys. So if you enjoy the fitness content, please just give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you are not only subscribed, but you've hit the notification bell since I know a lot of you don't actually get my videos in your sub box. Not to be repetitive, but it's just so frustrating when it is your job and you put so much time into editing and everything. Thing, and I really want you guys to be able to follow this series through chronologically. Um, I do also post lots of workout clips on my Instagram story, so I'd love to have you guys over there as well. So enough of that ramble. I'm just super excited to be on another specific like time frame where I have my goals and I'm really excited about everything. So we're gonna do a full sit down chit chat about my weight, my macros, specifically what I'm doing. Um, but before we hop into that, I did ask you guys on my Instagram story yesterday if you'd like to see a few new Gymshark pieces I picked up. It was only three things, so instead Instead of making a dedicated video, I wanted to throw it in this one if that's okay. We're also down in the beauty room, even though this is a fitness video, because little man is falling asleep for his nap, and I do not want to wake him because, you know, he had a little attitude this morning, and homeboy needs a nap, so. Um, but the first thing that I got is this jacket. I will link all these pieces down below. Truly love their clothing, uh, but I have, like, paid for it all myself. I'm not an athlete with them. But this is the new, like, gray and black two-toned jacket they came out with. It is a little crop situation so it looks like this it's actually kind of baggy with being a medium but the arms fit perfectly it's got a little hoodie super cute if you know me I wear black and gray and like neutrals to the gym all the time so this will fit right into my little color palette and it's super cute all right so moving on I got these purple leggings in a medium I don't even know what these are called I just call them like the Instagram famous leggings i'll put the actual name down below for you guys but i always see my favorite athletes wearing them they remind me of the ombre set i'm not sure if they're the exact same material but oh my gosh they are super high i'm wearing like a little crop top today and they literally come almost up to here um, they're super, super compressive. I was a large for the longest time, if you followed any of my other Gymshark reviews, uh, but with losing weight lately, I've just barely started to order stuff in a medium, and these fit excellent. Like, they really hold me in. 
Oh my gosh, they're super tight right here. I prefer that. So I would say the compression on these is like a nine out of 10. I think this design here is really cute. I know everyone is like really into it and it's really popular and it usually sells out. But oh my gosh, I was not expecting to like these that much. Really, really like them. I love how high they are. They are full length. I'll show you guys there. They go all the way to the ground. Absolutely love the purple color. Totally worth the money on these. I'll keep you guys updated as I continue to actually work out in them and see how they do with sweat. All right, next up, got this gray pair in a medium as well. I'll have the exact style listed on the screen. First impressions, after putting them on, they felt extremely compressive as well. And I think maybe just because I'm sizing down now and I'm kind of in the middle of a medium and a large, all the mediums are feeling really tight, which again, I prefer. I do a lot of hit cardio, a lot of jumping stuff, and I really wanna be held in right here. Um, I really like the look of these. I like the light gray. I'll keep you guys updated if any like sweat shows right here. I really love that it's got the mesh pocket though for your phone. I do have an iPhone 8 Plus, so I'm pretty sure it will fit. It looks big enough. I think the two-tone is really pretty. The only thing to note is they're a totally different material than the purple pants. Um, and right here, they do have a waistband. So you can see like the stitching right here. So a little bit more of like your fat or your skin will actually like hang over as to where the purple ones were seamless. So on those, you tend to look a little thinner right here. Um, if that bothers you, I'll probably wear a t-shirt like down to here to cover that part. So I don't think it would really bother me. And they do feel super compressive, which I like. Having the seam right there like sucks you in a bit more, um, which I prefer, but super flattering. I'm really happy that the medium fit. I didn't know if I was gonna have to return anything for a large, but so far I really like these and really impressed with these as well. All right, so that's all I got, just three items. I'll have them linked below. Let's head upstairs. It's about time for me to have a snack. I did have my first meal around like 1.30. I believe it's like almost 3 p.m. right now. So we'll grab something healthy. I'll show you guys what I'm eating and then we'll sit down and do the exact chit chat about my current stats and my exact plan for the next 12 weeks. All right, so I just had a little snack. I just had one of these little Fiber One coffee cake bars, which are only 90 calories. And oh my gosh, if you like coffee and chocolate and any type of cake, get these. I found them at Albertsons. My son also loves them. I just had um, breakfast tacos as my first meal since I'm still doing intermittent fasting. I posted those on my Instagram story if you're curious, uh, but I wasn't like too hungry right now because I only had that about an hour ago. So I want to get into my exact weight and goals and exactly what I'm doing for this cut. Um, so as of this morning, I was 177. I weighed 187.5 at the beginning of my last cut. So I did lose about 10 pounds. Um, but within this next 12 weeks, I do really continue on a, to lean out and really aim towards that goal of 150 pounds. Again, I don't have to get to that specific number. I'm not like hooked on a number, but that is like around the range that I would really like to maintain at. Um, where I think mentally and physically I will feel the healthiest and just the best personally. Um, so I did want to share with you guys my macros. This is actually something that is going to be just honestly life-changing for me the next 12 weeks um, is really having a plan, writing everything down. I decided to put everything in a binder of what I'm gonna eat every week, how exactly I'm gonna count my macros. I'm still working with my coach Leah, who you guys know I've mentioned so many times before. Um, she has honestly just been absolutely incredible for me, especially mentally in really getting over a lot of the like negative old thought patterns that I had regarding binge eating and self-love and coming at a cut or being healthy from a place of love. And even though I personally know how to count macros now and I feel very educated on it based upon the way she's taught it to me, I continue to renew with her every month because I need the accountability. Like I love it. The Facebook group, everything that is involved in her program, even if like I know how to portion out my meals and do my calories with the macros she gives me and I can do all that on my own, I need a support system. And I know a lot of you guys do too. Like I know so many of you are here to follow me for the health and like weight loss um, aspect of my channel and my Instagram. And I can't tell you how many DMs I get. Like you probably, you guys probably know if you've ever sent me one, you guys always ask me for workout plans, for your macros. You guys, I am not a certified nutritionist. I'm not a certified coach yet. I've been really honest and upfront with you. That's something I would love to accomplish in the future especially since I am falling so much more in love with fitness and health and cooking as time goes on. I would love to do that, but I can't legally give you guys, you know, that correct information for your specific goals at this point, which is why I always recommend you to Leah. So after my last cut this past week, I wasn't really tracking, but I was still like eating healthy, like being mindful. And I was wondering, I was like, what am I going to do next? Like heading into summer, I know that I still want to like lean down. And it's actually funny because she launched a new program, I think like three or four days before my last cut was over called Lean Like Leah. 
So if you're already a client of hers or you've like signed up with her due to me and she's given you your custom macros and workouts and stuff like that, you still get all of that, but it's actually a whole new like revamped program that she came out with. Um, I believe you could choose the three month or the six month option. Last week I actually signed up for the 12 week option. So she does have spots available if you guys also wanna sign up. I would love to have you with us in the Facebook group and in the community. Um, so she is who I'm working with for the next 12 weeks. I wanted to go over everything that the program comes with and how I'm gonna be approaching this cut uh, because I feel like it's definitely so much more structured than my last one. So whenever you sign up for the 12 week program, she'll email you over your custom macros. I will put mine on the screen right here for those of you who always ask. Again, do not just take those and think those will work for your goals. They're literally so incredibly specific, like down to the point zero zero two. There's a whole, like she's a certified nutritionist and like it's a specific equation to get those macros for me based on how active I am and if I have injuries and stuff like that. People always think they can just like take your macros and get those same results. No, so you will get your own specific macros and all of your workouts planned out for you. Um, her plan is always to catered to, if you need to work out at home, all the workouts are 30 minutes or less because she actually lost all of her weight uh, from home. She's never like been in a gym, which is so crazy to me. Um, so you'll have all that and she actually emails you over this entire client packet. And when she, whenever I re-signed up because I've already been a client for like a year, but I upped the package to the new Lean Like Leah program. She was like, oh, congratulations, like you're in, can't wait to have you, let me email you over your client packet. And I'm like, okay, whatever, it's probably gonna be a few pages. I pull up my email, it's literally over 100 pages in here. 100, like I am not kidding. If you don't know what recipes to make, how to track your macros, how to track alcohol, how to track your progress every week, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna go over with you really quick what mine looks like because I know a lot of you are wanting to do a cut or wanting to like slim down going into summer. I would highly, highly recommend that you sign up and do this with us. I think it will be so beneficial for you guys. So I'm just gonna share with you how I'm tracking my progress. So when you sign up for the plan with her, this is what she sends you over. The first page is gonna be your starting stats and then your ending stats for the full 12 weeks. So I actually just started this second phase of my cut. So I put my exact like new starting weight here, 177.5. You rate your energy level and your mood and how many successful days you had on tracking your macros. Um, like to the T, exactly. So I put six days, there was a day last week that I went to Baskin Robbins with Christian and I wasn't like perfect on them, so I was super honest right there. Um, you also do wanna go ahead and take your measurements to start out. So all these right here, I actually wanted to hole punch them and get them in the binder before the video, but I couldn't find my hole punch anywhere to be super honest with you guys. Um, but something that she also sent over, which I thought was really cool, is a fast food list. So with her program, you're tracking macros and it's flexible dieting and you can totally go out to eat. It's really flexible. So she lists on here, Starbucks, Texas Roadhouse, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Jersey Mike's, uh, McDonald's, Noodles and Company, Olive Garden. She gives you three full pages here of macro-friendly options if you have to go out and eat, but you still wanna hit your macros and be healthy. So literally you can just like print all this out and have it in a binder when you are completely ready to start your cut. Um, then, this is crazy, like I can't believe it, it's this much info, but it's so awesome. I was trying to print this out in color for you guys, but my printer actually ran out of colored ink. Um, but part of your intake package is also you get over 100 macro-friendly recipes. You guys know I'm really trying to cook more. I tried to print as many of them out in color for you as I could, but these are all recipes she's created for everyone who's doing this 12-week cut with us. Um, so she, she puts all the ingredients, how to make everything, all the macros, there is about 75 pages here, guys, of recipes. Like, this is insane. If you don't know what to cook, you don't know how to put your meals together, you don't know what macros are in what or what ingredients you need, it comes with grocery lists. Like, <laughs> that's when my uh, printer ran out of ink. It is literally insane. Like, this is the ultimate kit for someone who wants to start counting macros, get in shape, lose weight, learn how to make the meals on your own. So after the three months or after you know your cut period is over, you know how to go and do this on your own life. The, the plan is not to stay with her forever. So yeah, this is literally every single thing that you would need to start on your fitness journey or to do this 12 week cut. Um, there's also an FAQ I try to print out here for you guys. It's a bit small, but it talks about how to count macros if you're going out to a restaurant. Is it necessary to weigh my food? Um, if I go over in fiber or fat or sugar, how do you calculate that? Um, how to track alcohol? Literally every single thing you need to know is all in here for you. So you'll get this whole like 100 page intake package if you wanna sign up with us. Eating and press and had so much anxiety and really hate myself and my body to then have to a place where I love working out and I'm able to like maintain this physique that I will feel so healthy and confident in. Not saying that a bikini show is maintainable, but I'm saying. Um, I don't know, that's just gonna be cool for me. My fitness journey 
it's not stopping. If you've watched me for a few years, I've done uts and other weight loss series and sometimes I fall off and I eat poor and I have to start over. But the recurring theme is I don't give up. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing these cut series and get to my final goal and I'm gonna push myself to believe in myself and I'm gonna be real with you along the whole journey. If what within the next 12 weeks, if I am having a really hard mentally or I don't know, I'm like one inch or just anything comes up, I'm gonna turn on that and share it with you guys. The next 12 weeks will be as raw as possible. So can't for you guys to see all the amazing workout clips. I just wanted to do a full sit down chit chat about what and why. So if you are excited, all the future physique updates, full days of eating, having Brian film me, which is gonna be so incredible. I am so pumped. Please, please this video a like for me, drop a comment below, make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification. Anything I mentioned in today's video, the clone, my trainer, everything like that will be linked below. I truly appreciate you guys. Can't see you in the next video and I hope you have an incredible week. Mm -hmm.